If dinosaurs drowned in the flood, uh, have we found fresh dinosaur bones? Or are they all, if they're all fossilized, it takes millions of years, doesn't it? Well, first, it does not take millions of years for things to fossilize. We covered that on video number six. But yes, some fresh dinosaur bones have been found. There's a great book out called The Great Alaskan Dinosaur Adventure about some guys that went up to northern Alaska and uh, in the riverbanks up there in the Colville River on the north slope of Alaska found frozen dinosaur bones. I talked to Les Zerbe, my friend up there, who's been a missionary for years in uh, Africa, I mean in, in Alaska. I was just up there a few months ago with him. He said he, he, he was there, he can drive right, fly his plane right to the spot, land there, and dig out some fresh frozen dinosaur bones if we'd like. But yes, they have been found in uh, Journal Science Magazine in December of 93. They said, uh, report an amazing preservation of the bones of a young duckbill dinosaur found in Montana. Under a microscope, the fine structure of the bones was seen to have been preserved to such an extent that cell characteristics could be compared to cells of chicken bone. Anybody who teaches dinosaurs died millions of years ago has not studied the real evidence. Okay, In northwestern Alaska, uh, it's 1961, a geologist found a bed of dinosaur bones in unpermineralized, that's unfossilized condition. This is possibly the same bed that Les Zerbe goes to. He offered to take me last time I was there, but the weather wouldn't permit it. We were going to fly up there for a couple hours and see this stuff. I'll go next time I get up there. In Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, which is way on the north slope uh, near uh, Barrow, Alaska, they found frozen dinosaur bones. They're as light as balsa wood and look as fresh as yesterday's dog bones. The structure was porous and the fossils were not mineralized, not fossilized. A Canadian uh, Indian, Eskimo, in 1987 on Bylot Island up in northern Canada, found part of a lower jaw of a duckbill dinosaur. It was in fresh condition. Joe Taylor, our friend from uh, Crosbyton, Texas, has a website, mountblanco.com. He has dug up dinosaur bones before that are not fossilized. He's dug up dinosaurs all over the world. But uh, in uh, the summer of 2005, they found dinosaur tissue inside a T-Rex leg bone, and the dinosaur tissue was still soft. Now, the scientists are trying to figure out, like John Horner from Montana is trying to figure out how could fossil, how could they stay soft for 70 million years? The thought will never cross his mind that maybe they're not 70 million years old. Okay, he's already committed to that. And to say maybe they're only 6,000 years old or 4,400 years old from the flood would absolutely be anathema to them. They'll never consider that. So now they're going to probably, probably get a government grant and try to figure out how could they stay soft for 70 million years. They're totally asking the wrong question. The question is when they formed, not how they formed. Here's a picture from a magazine showing they found a fossilized dinosaur, still had what they thought, and I, I believe was con confirmed, was the heart, soft tissue, fossilized in a dinosaur. Up in Alaska, they frequently find dinosaurs. Well, Alaska's cold. Reptiles don't do well in cold weather. But dinosaurs in Alaska? Not many, but a few have been found, and yes, it's true, some have been found that are not fossilized. You can uh, do more research on that on your own, and we'll cover more on our college class uh, when we get to that.